they might, the terrorist dogs couldn't snuff out all of the light in the world last night. And it's this light that leads the way forward. Western society faces a choice of two futures. Do we cower to a zealously religious ideology that demands subjugation without compromise? An ideology that thinks nothing of murdering and maiming our girls? An ideology that demands we perform ridiculous Olympic feats of denial and deny our own well-being? Or do we choose to drop all pretense, leave aside political correctness, and refuse to be enslaved by the indulgence of our own misplaced compassion? Some hearts and minds can be changed, but these dogs are beyond the reaches of love, reason, or logic. There is no diplomacy with anyone who celebrates tearing apart young girls with ball bearings, nails, and screws. Such people must be exterminated from the face of the earth in such a fashion that people a millennia later will tell stories about the brutality that awaits such brutes. A God that calls for the murder of girls is a weak, impotent God. Make these barbarians fear the wrath of the West. We didn't start this war, but we should end it and can. A society that cannot protect its children is a doomed society. Homeland Security says that over 740,000 foreigners overstayed their visas last year. UK Intel reports that over 3,500 potential terrorists, 400 ISIS fighters, have returned back to the UK from Syria. The OSU terrorist, terrorist stabber was a Somali refugee. The Minnesota mall terrorist was a Somali refugee. The Stockholm truck terrorist was an asylum seeker from Uzbekistan. The attempted attack in Austria this year was carried out by a migrant. The Antwerp terrorist attack in March was carried out by a Tunisian migrant. The Paris and Belgian terrorists were allowed to travel and escape freely between European nations due to the EU's policy of open borders. In 2017, terror attacks have been carried out every nine or so days. And for the people who believe it's bigoted to discuss border security, who view borders as walls rather than bottlenecks, to slow the flow of entry, to better ascertain who is entering, take your locks off your doors. Take your little alarm signs out of your front yards and the stickers off your windows. Remove the fences around your yards. Remove the locks and alarms from your cars. Don't be hypocritical racist bigots with an obsession on keeping people out. For those who have placed popularity with terror groups ahead of the security of your own citizens, look at the face of eight-year-old Safi Rose Russos and ask yourself if it was worth it. Little girls are picking teeth and skin out of their hair today. Was it worth it? Women live in fear. Is it worth it? For you feminists who fly into a rage whenever you don't get your abortion on demand or your free birth control pills, who are so quick to show up for cameras in your knitted pink hats with your sheep persisted slogans, where are you for the Rotherham girls? The systemic community-wide abuse of hundreds of young girls by Arab migrants that the leaders in law enforcement covered up because they were more afraid of being called bigots than rape enablers. Where is your hashtag rape culture then? Where was it? Where's your pink hat? She persisted girl power for Safi Russos. Why are you always absent from the real fights and there when it doesn't matter? Where are the moderates of Islam? Why do we hear from so few of them? Why are so many afraid to ask this question? Zudi Jasser said that the revolution must come from inside Islam, but are there enough who wanted to make it happen? Dalton and Roadhouse said it best. It's time to not be nice. It's time to stop perpetuating terrorism with the indulgence of political correctness. It's time to stop treating a violent, sexist ideology as if it is in any way at all compatible with the modern era. Unless you want your children taking up a fight that you yourself lack the courage to finish, buck up, speak out, and get not nice.